My son died. He's never coming back. But what have we learned from this? I will continue my fight. Orcas deserve my help. Killer whale shows are hugely popular with tourists visiting Tenerife's Loro Parque private zoo. But few know that several years ago, an orca trainer was killed by one of the animals. Which is why his mother now insists these animals should be freed. The day her son died left Mercedes Hernandez feeling shattered. Losing Alex meant confronting my own pain and sorrow and learning to cope. I tried finding solace in meditation, breathing exercises and yoga. It helps me to control my feelings and cope with losing Alex. To accept that he will never again hug me. But accepting these feelings is very difficult. Her son Alex was killed on December the 24th, 2009, during a rehearsal for a Christmas orca show. His mother is still trying to fully understand what really happened that day. Back then, she did not realize the dangers of swimming with killer whales. She was proud of her son, who loved his job. There was only one time when I watched the show and thought, oh my God, that's so risky. An animal weighing many tons and such a tiny human by its side. But I never imagined anything bad would happen because I ignored the risk. But now I want people to understand that these shows are not okay. Mercedes has vowed to reveal the grim reality of keeping orcas in captivity, though not many share her concerns. She lives in the village of Los Realejos in northern Tenerife. This is where her son Alex grew up and later attended school. The local church was packed for Alex's funeral service. Soon after, she says, the park management began trying to conceal the true cause of his death. Many believed their claim that he had simply drowned. The autopsy report shows what really caused his death. It says he suffered a brutal orca attack, causing lethal injuries. Loro Parque Animal Park, where Alex worked, is a huge tourist attraction. And the killer whale shows continue even after his death. To visitors, these shows look like trainers and orcas are in perfect harmony. And to them, the water tanks in which the orcas swim appear large. But in nature, these whales sometimes cover more than 100 kilometers in a single day. Keto, that's the orca's name, killed Alex out of frustration. The animal was stressed because it was put under pressure. I think it attacked and killed him because it wanted somehow to send a signal.
The animal park draws more than one million visitors each year. It's a lucrative business. Wherever Mercedes goes, she sees posters advertising Loro Parque. There are more signs for the animal park than the local hospital. And in the island's tourist hotspot, there's even advertising on garbage cans. The park's very own trackless train brings visitors to the entrance gate. But today, animal rights activists are picketing outside. They're protesting against keeping whales and dolphins in captivity, which, in their view, constitutes animal cruelty. And before you buy the ticket to enter into the lotto park, you have to be like conscious because this is a nightmare for them. Mercedes doesn't consider herself an animal rights activist, but she does oppose keeping orcas in captivity. Loro Parque, meanwhile, argues that the animals are better off not being in the wild, claiming that pollution and overfishing mean orcas have it much better in the pool. Wolfgang Kiesling, who owns Loro Parque, likes talking about his love for animals and the importance of wildlife preservation. So how come one of his orcas killed a trainer? How is this possible? Well, it was an accident. Accidents happen. That's all I can say. Why do you keep calling it an accident instead of an attack? Because it wasn't an attack. An attack would mean the animal... I mean, I think it was absolutely an accident. Because the trainer had a good relationship with the animal, they worked together, and then suddenly the animal became nervous. Ever since Alex's death, trainers are no longer allowed into the water tank with the orcas. This little bay is where Mercedes comes to unwind. This is where her son's urn is buried. Coming here makes her feel close to him. Her dream is one day to see orcas in their natural habitat, wild and free. Seria un regalo maravilloso el poder estar ahí It would be such a wonderful gift to see these special animals in freedom in their natural environment To me that would be fantastic contacto con ellos en libertad spectacular puede ser fantástico espectacular On Vancouver Island Canada's west coast this dream shall come true. Friends and family helped Mercedes pay for her trip. Alex travels with her, not only as a tattoo. Mercedes feels a special connection to orcas. Me han enseñado y he aprendido mucho de ellas. Desde que empecé I learned a lot from them since I started reading up on how they live. Sobre cómo viven, there is a strong bond between females esa, and their calves for a long time. And that fascinates me. Durante mucho tiempo. Me, me fascina, it's the reason I love these animals so much. Hey, is that you guys in the middle of the blowhole? Yes, it is. We just were watching a stellar sea lion uh, chowing down on a salmon. <laughs> they head out into Johnston Strait, 
a known orca hunting ground, hoping to spot some killer whales. Though they'll need some luck, the orca's natural habitat is vast. Then suddenly, several dozen killer whales surface nearby the kayaks. I'm feeling overwhelmed. But I'm so happy to see them. It's so moving to see them in the wild. I feel as though I can connect with them in their freedom. Soon, all orcas will be free just as they should be. 